and today we're going to be doing a video, as you can see from the title, super skinny versus super size. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be talking about how it's just as hard to be super skinny as it is to be super sized. Sometimes people don't realise, and I get a lot of messages from you guys saying, you know, you want to gain weight. I want to talk more about that because I don't think a lot of people realise that it's just as hard to be mm. super skinny. Mm. So do you want to kick it off, Osa? Yeah, um, like I feel like as kids, we don't know what body size we are until like society tells you. Somebody has to tell you. Yeah, someone you. has to tell you. Well, not has to, but someone tells you. And usually it's not in the nicest way possible. <laughs> and I was in year seven and um, I was in a private school it was really clicky, like everything, like basically Gossip Girl. And there actually was, there was legit, there was a Serena and a Blair, blonde hair and I'm not even kidding, blonde hair, brunette, everything, like they ruled oh the school. Not oh even joking. Gosh. It was, oh, it was something else. Really cool, but the, the, <laughs> the sad side to it was like, the bitchiness was just unreal. And they were really skinny, like, but I was a lot skinnier than them and I was shorter and I was black, like in a private school. Like there weren't that many black people. It wasn't as vicious as it was when I got to later life, but it was just kind of like, you're so skinny, why are your bones so skinny? Why are your bones poking out? And like my my ribs would poke out and like when I bent over, you could see like the ribs in my back. And it wasn't that I wasn't eating, like I would literally eat like six meals. Like she knows how much I eat. Like since I've been here, I've just been eating flapjacks. She had Burger King before. I arrived. forgot about that. I keep forgetting you about keep the forgetting Burger about that. Just like you forgot about the McDonald's. I was like, I don't even remember it. I just remember the guilt. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult because your body is actually working against you. On the other side, I have to fight not to, to gain, gain weight. I can't imagine what it must be like to, to fight to, to gain, weight. gain weight. I've never, I've never been able to sit there and try and imagine what it'd be like <laughs> to <laughs> struggle <laughs> to gain weight. Wait, yeah. Just because it's something that just, just comes so naturally to me. <laughs> I think that comes so naturally to me. I put it in my mouth and lie there. <laughs> In a, a game. <laughs> How did you like deal with the first time knowing that you weren't the same size as everyone else? I think I realised when the one particular incident there was a parent. Like basically, I had my she means a parent, parent by the way. A parent. She can't even help it. Let me just leave. You her. can't. But I was just telling me because that's just how I pronounce it. No, but I was just telling them because they're gonna be like a parent. 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 There we go. Someone's I hate pairs. Really? Did you hear about that whole thing with Rick Ross and how he get lo lost weight <laughs> through pairs? Rick Ross. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> but anywho, Anyways. we're talking about parents. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> someone, um, I had my best friend in school, like we were super best friends, so it was really cute. Mm. And then this new girl came into school and this Stole. was like in year four or something and I've been best friends with my friends since like reception, like since the beginning. Mm. And she came in and then they started kind of hanging out and going off with each other but we kind of were like a group of three so then once we went to this new girl's house with my best friend and we were eating we we're having tea which is what we call it we got to dessert and i really liked the dessert it was a jam roly-poly with, with ice cream, cream. so good and i loved it i'd never had it before because you know when you go around your friend's house and they have new food oh my gosh especially yeah. if you're like from an african household you eat different foods kind of and then later on i found out that this new girl's mum went to my best friend's mum and said that i eat like a pig and imagine i was a little girl i was seven mm. about seven and just calling a seven year old saying that she eats like a pig my best friend's mum obviously was disgusted by this and like she told my best friend as well about it they weren't having any of it and um, my best friend told me about it and she was like, yeah, she said you eat like a pig. And it really hurt me mm. because I was like, first of all, how can an adult say that? Like, I would expect it from someone my age. I hate age, when adults say stuff But like it that. was an adult and it really hurt yeah. me. Because you expect better. Yeah, and that's when I started to kind of become more conscious of my size. Yeah, yeah it really sucked. But fast forward a couple of years, the new girl with her evil mum. <laughs> her her evil evil mom. on Facebook for weight loss advice or I don't know healthy that's what you need to advice. do nay nay and I was like <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, I was like what goes around comes around <laughs> when people tell you like that your size is wrong and like they keep on doing it I think one off statements suck but it's the bullying yeah it's especially constant, in school yeah it's just it's horrible it's actually awful with me, like I think opposite to you, it wasn't really other people in school, it was actually like my close 
like my friends in my like friendship group although we had a big friendship group full of like little cliques in the friendship group but right. like as a black girl or as a black woman you're expected to be quite curvy quite voluptuous and people need to understand that not all black women just like white people or white women we all have different body shapes within yeah. our race anyway regardless of skin color yeah exactly yeah. and i think that's where the pressure for me came from to be chunky and uh, like yeah. people at school would be like she's bulimic she must be anorexic like why don't you eat like um obviously my curves weren't growing as rapid as everyone else's so my boobs and my butt weren't growing as quick as everyone else <laughs> not like now though <laughs> anyway <so laughs> not now. just the name calling and calling me a skeleton all this stupid stuff just it does chip away at you and like when they would call me bulimic and anorexic like it actually lowered the rate that I would eat like I would actually start eating less and I would be like maybe I should throw out my food maybe I shouldn't keep it in and it's just like I can't imagine people going through that now like knowing I've come out of it is great but knowing there's probably other people going through that it's just the worst just remember it's not it's not you it's actually them yeah it it's always is. them like and, like it's always about people around you, not actually you, because you realise you have no problem with yourself until somebody tells, tells you. you. And I was actually saying this in a video before because I read this book and it was about like, you know, when you're a baby. I saw that, I yeah. saw that. that that's what, like, what was coming through my consciousness. Cause right, I was like, yeah. I've seen this somewhere, but it was funny. Yeah, like when you're a baby, you, you, you're fine with it. Yeah. You run around, you're naked, yeah. you're fine with it. But then when you're older, you're told that, you know, you, you don't look nice. Basically, yeah. that's what you get. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Then you start to believe it, and I think it's just about realizing that you know, like you can't say looks don't matter. They do, but it matters to a certain person. It depends who you're going for, and you will find people in your life that love you for who, who you, you are. are. And you need to surround yourself with those yeah. people that accept you and kick all the rest of them out. They can yeah, kick rocks. like get them out. <laughs> kick rocks because. That's what matters at the end of the day because you'll find somebody that finds you attractive. You'll find friends that don't shame you mm, at and every encourage second you as well. Yeah. Like you'll find the way you are. Like I wish I had more of that when I was. And <clears throat> yeah, I wish I had a lot more of that when I was younger. But now I'm a lot older. I know that, like, Ooh. I'm the one in control. Oh, <laughs> got a bit raunchy up in here. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's like just knowing you're in control, like. And for me, taking control of my life and like in year 11, I was telling her about my prom story. You need to go watch that video. I'll leave it down leave below. below. It's really fun. <laughs> it's really yeah, fun. It's a princess story. <laughs> it's a princess story. <laughs> it's like oh a Disney movie. Yeah. But yeah, like in year 11, I was like, I want my princess moment. And I started working on myself, not so much on my outer, but like on my skills, what made me special and everything else actually followed. Like that's when I realised I love makeup and I planned my oh I planned my whole outfit for prom and it was the first time that I felt confident in my body and I was actually like, oh, I'm actually not that bad. And like there was a point where at prom I looked in the mirror and I literally didn't recognise myself because I looked so beautifully different. And it wasn't the makeup, it wasn't all that, but it was just knowing all of this time through the bullying that I'm actually a beautiful person inside and out, regardless of what people say. And it was knowing that, that just, I was just like, yeah, this is it. Like, this is phase. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun story. I had this kind of a similar thing at prom, but like by, pro by the time prom had come around, I'd already come out as having lost oh. weight. I'd already done the whole thing, but it was still pretty cool because it was kind of the first time because all along I was always in my school uniform. Yeah, I was gonna say they wouldn't seen you in a dress. And my uniform was like you do a video too, on that too. too many sizes too big. My my prom. Yeah. I can, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Oh. Mine was epic. And like it might have a really weird story. I'm gonna edit this out, but like I had I went I was gonna go to prom with my best friend anyway. But then one of my other best friends asked me, he was a guy. Okay. And I was like, oh I think he likes me. Uh -huh. come on, he asked me to prom. <laughs> but like, I've really been planning this since we were quite young because he said like if he wasn't going to take this other girl, he was going to take me to prom. Yeah. And I, I'd always knew that this was like a fact we made ages ago. Yeah. But then like when he asked me, I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> like not so <laughs> much that I liked him, something. that just someone liked me and I was really yeah. excited. But now he's gay, so end of that dream. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so I just literally stopped breathing. <laughs> So, 
Now everything's great though. Rob and if you want to hear more of my basic failures with guys, we're gonna make a video about this in a second. Over oh. on Elsa's channel. <laughs> But anyway, just to round everything up, make sure that you know that your body doesn't really matter. It's not about the way you look and everything like that. It's about who you are and who you surround yourself with. Make sure you surround yourself with people who actually encourage you and not yes. put you down because you'll find somebody who accepts you for who you are. And remember, it's all about your health. So at the end of the day, <laughs> it's all about my health. <laughs> no matter what you look like, as long as you're healthy, that is all I care about and that is what is important. Yeah. So anyway guys, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe and go and check out Osa's channel and also the video we're doing over on Osa's channel as well. Thank you. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay luscious, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. I've stacked up some new embarrassing moments, so I thought, let me make a new one. Number five. When you hear number five, you're gonna be like, if this is number five. What's the rest gonna be like? I was in Oxford Street and I was having a really chilled day and I was...